did you know the Earth's magnetic north pole is shifting, and fast. It's moving towards Siberia at a pace that's creating real challenges for navigation tools. Garmin devices with magnetic sensors rely on updates to the World Magnetic Model, or WMM, to ensure they stay accurate despite these shifts. Here's the deal. The Earth's magnetic field isn't static. That's normal. The magnetic uh, North Pole used to drift slowly, but in recent decades, its speed has surged to 55 kilometers per year before settling at around 25 kilometers annually. This shift affects magnetic field strength, the angles of declination and inclination, essential factors for accurate compass readings. For Garmin devices, the magnetic pole shift requires constant adaptation. Now, this shift does not directly affect GPS accuracy. GPS operates using satellite signals, which rely on triangulation between satellites in orbit and have no dependence on the Earth's uh, magnetic field. However, the pole shift uh, does affect features that rely on magnetic field data. Garmin devices, for example, use magnetic sensors in conjunction with GPS to compute compass settings or determine directional orientation. So these devices rely on magnetic sensors to calculate accurate readings, particularly in situations where GPS signals are weak or unavailable. That's where NOAA's World Magnetic Model, or WMM, comes into play. Garmin integrates the WMM into its software to translate magnetic north into true north. These updates happen every five years, and they're critical for devices like smartwatches, GPS, uh, handheld GPS units, and outdoor navigation units. Without them, compass features could become inaccurate, especially near the poles, where the changes are more dramatic. The most recent update was released in 2019, and Garmin incorporated it soon after to ensure its devices stayed reliable. But here's why the next update, WMM 2025, is a big deal. It comes with a much higher spatial uh, resolution, uh, offering 10 times more detail than before. Instead of a resolution of 3,300 kilometers, it's now just 300 kilometers at the equator. This means Garmin devices will have more precise compass uh, calculations, even in areas with complex magnetic anomalies. That's great news for anyone exploring polar regions or using a Garmin smartwatch in dense forests or canyons where GPS signals are weak. Garmin doesn't stop with just updating the WMM. Many devices include automatic calibration features that adjust for local magnetic variations uh, on the go. If needed, users can also recalibrate manually to fine-tune their compass accuracy. So, what does this mean for Garmin users? Keep your firmware updated, follow any calibration prompts, and trust that Garmin is staying ahead of the curve. With the upcoming WMM 2025 update, you can expect even better accuracy from your smartwatch or GPS no matter where your adventures take you. The Earth's magnetic field might be shifting, but Garmin is ready to guide you through it.